Hello everybody, welcome back to another banger video and today, so basically, uh, some months ago, I did, um, film more tutorial, it did really good for me, you know, I got 1.2k views, which is good for me, you feel me? So, like, it's not saying, we're gonna do another one, we're gonna do Premiere Pro, cause that's what I started and now, so let's just hope this video does as good. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically, first, first and foremost... Um, let's just go over some basics. This is obviously for, um, uh, gaming videos exclusively with subtitles and cool editing effects, but you can learn either way. It doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Um, so, first of all, all of these things, this is your effects. This is where you add, you know, your filters, your audio effects, you know, the reverb effect, um, shake effects. I have, like, custom ones right here. These are custom ones. The way you import custom ones is you go right here. Import presets and then you import pre the presets that you had. There's like a uh, you know glitch ones. These are all custom ones I downloaded. You know, um, th that's that. Uh, right here is uh, don't worry about that. This is um, you don't really worry. You don't really need to worry about that. This is your sound. Whenever you click on a sound, you can edit with this reverb. You don't really want to use this reverb right here. Um, but you know volume and stuff. You can do the same thing with the effect controls. This is basically it's pretty self-explanatory. Like for example, um, just. A zoom effect, literally, it's super easy once you get the hang of it. Like it's so like flexible with keyframes and shit. So you make two keyframes. The way you do it is um, you hit this and this, that automatically make a keyframe, and then you go into the point where you want to, and then you zoom in. Uh, I'll, I'll show it for you on like a another clip, but uh, and then you just make another two keyframes, which is this button right here. You know, so that's pretty cool. And uh, you can also adjust the volume like this or how much you want. Uh, let's play a couple of some of the videos just so y'all kind of get the vibe of it. Um, well, I guess we should go over some controls. Uh, you, you don't really need to worry about this that much. Um, selection tool. This is obviously selection tool. You want to make sure that you always press V after everything because it can mess up. Like right now I'm on text and uh, you, you could be still on text and uh, it just would be awkward. You know what I mean? So you want to V always because then after that, once you're on text, you'll be text. And then you'd be like, um, you know, why can't I move it? You know what I mean? It's all this stuff. You want to press freaking V. Right here, you'll be like, oh, why can't I? Why can't I move it? V. Shit. On the timeline, V. Boom. Go crazy. Um, let's see here. All right, I'm going to show you how to do subtitles. Because I feel like that's kind of what y'all kind of want to do. Let's do this one. I'm just going to play the clip for you. By the way, if you're sensitive, leave the video. You know when you're trying to figure out basic cult mechanics? You, you know when you want to say the N word, but like. But you just yeah. say it in your ways in game chat. Oh, well, this is a great video. Make sure to check it out in the link description and the comments and subscribe. If I screamed the N word really loud in my mic, nobody would actually understand what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not wrong. <laughs> alright, alright, let's digest. Digest? Fuck. Uh, so. Number one, you gotta choose your style. I choose your style. Um, I went from this to like other type of shit. <laughs> um, this is kind of what I'm gonna roll for. I like the white. It, it's very different. I don't think people do much white and stuff, at least for the border. So basically, uh, so let's just go um right here. Just just find a spot. Uh, right here is good. And uh, make a subtitle. Any game you want. This is mainly this is on Call of Duty, obviously. Just make a subtitle. Alright, so I am stupid and I accidentally muted my mic in OBS at this point. So let's just, um, let's just, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do, uh, um, but, uh, but, what's the word? I forgot the word. It's like, um, uh, it's, what's the word? It's like, um, there's a word. There is a word. What is the word? It's like, um, voiceover. It's voiceover. So I just made my word Soro Fanganax, um, and basically, um, I'm just gonna go over what I'm doing right now. So right now, I'm kind of just customizing. You can customize it however you want. You can do like borders. You can even make it invisible. It's crazy. You can just do border only, and it'll be just border only, obviously. Um, I'm struggling. There we go. You got the filling right there. Um, I like the hamburger fence. There's one uh, font I use called Homesick. Y'all are free to use it. Just don't use my hamburger. I will punch you. So they, they, they go out there, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, yeah, that, that's what that looks like. It looks pretty cool. I think it looks cool. You can handle that right there. And then, um, go back to hamburger because the hamburger go crazy. And then, um, right there, I'm kind of just border. I, I'm struggling. Make sure to highlight. Um, destroy boom. I think it pops with the white. You feel me? You can change it to black. 
this is a lot of people do black you know it, it looks it looks kind of cooler but i like white it pops like like pop. you feel me um all right so now i'm gonna show you how to do a little pop you see a little pop thing that just happened like it's not just boom on the screen it's like a little pop so let me delete all that in voiceover form and um uh let's delete all that so we just get one of these joints so you know obviously boom they go right there you feel me i'm going crazy with that mouse flicking you feel me boom highlight highlight <clears throat> the hiccup um extend I extend boom boom go crazy extend what am i doing can i stop talking and just do do the shit i sw you fuck oh my god i can't stand this motherfucker can you just do it show me am did i talk this much in the recording show me basically what you want to do it right here is you want to make sure that you have a decent extension and decent size of a text so you don't have to constantly keep making new text you can just use the same one the same ones over and over again Anyway, um, what am I talking about? Can I- Show me! Show me, you fucking whore. Please. There you go. Okay, so what I just did right there is basically, if you hold alt and drag the text, it'll make a copy so you don't have to keep on copy and paste. It's incredible. Just alt, boom, makes things double the speed. So, now, now I'm gonna show you how to do a little pop filter finally. So, what you're gonna do is, um, you wanna make it exactly where the audio is, obviously. Um, so there it is right there. And, um, obviously I said, um, you know, when you, when you something, when you, whenever you're trying to, you know, do that. So, basically, what we're gonna do is, number one, uh, obviously I'm gonna delete my keyframes. You're gonna, yours is gonna look like this. Make sure you do it on the text. I don't think I said this in the video. Make sure you do this, um, the keyframe thing, once, uh, the effects control, on the text tab. Because you see that video tab right there as well? It, it it's like, um... It's it's not as like good and it doesn't look as clean as the text one. So basically, what I'm what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a first keyframe a little behind, and then you're gonna go three to four frames and make another keyframe and just up it by ten, and then go another three to four frames and then up and then down it by like minimum like at least like four or something. That that makes it look really clean. And they go right there, boom, 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 go crazy, Chris Brazy, lemon squicy, and then boom, you just go crazy when you're trying to, and then you get a little. You feel me? It looks a lot better than that, you know what I mean? Than just just a, a word just popping up there. In some cases, the word popping up there looks a lot better for comedic purposes. But in general, I think the poppity pop, pop text, that's a professional word. It, it, the subtitles look just so much better. Um, so let's just, uh, so this, uh, my voiceover is about to come to you. I just want to say thank you all for watching. Subscribe, to, to, to subscribe, you know what I mean? And um, th thank you for listening to my voiceover. Back to the video. Hopefully you've made it this far in the video. The video is very helpful, very nice. And, um, yeah, man, I think I'm showing you right now how to, how to do it, like, um, basically one text at a time. Um, and not just all of them, you know, you could do, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, what you're going to do, okay, the voiceover is about to come to an end, and it will come into an end Pop. now. Mechanics. What you need to do is you want to put that bitch in left align. V. Press V. Sh hold shift. No. Yeah. Drag, then hold shift. Uh, control. Boom. It'll center it. And then what you want to do is you want to get rid of everything but basic. Now, what you're going to do is each time is the next, the word is said, you're going to layer it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go. Hold me. A basic. All right. All right, we'll just delete this. So, extend that a little bit more. So right here, what you want to do is you don't want to do this. You want to put it on top of it so that the basic is still visible. But instead, you want to do COD, V, move to here. Hold me. Boom. And then do mechanics. Just like that. And then you got Drop basic COD mechanics. You know, you know, it's really easy. <laughs> this is how easy it is. And to do a fade effect, uh, there's one it's built in called um, Additive Dissolve. That's what I like to use. Um, additive Dissolve. But if you want to do it yourself, it, it actually looks kind of better yourself. You can hit one of the. You can do all that higher opacity. Boom. Drag a little bit. Zero. Put that bitch all the way to the end. You know when you're trying to. <laughs> that was really. Oh, that was. <laughs> I think I did it with a lot of these titles as well. I'll just show, I'll just show you. You want to say the N word, but like, fuck. see that right there? I like it. it. Looks a lot cleaner than um. Sorry about that. It's just not as clean, you know. It's it's just the opacity goes down, right right then instead of all the way out. Unlike uh, 
this. You know what I mean? It's ages own. Alright, now let's do some motion graphics. Alright, uh, there's a good example right here. Let's just roll back. Make sure to check out the video. It's incredible. Make sure to subscribe. I said it already. I don't care. That's one right there. So Shout out to Tommy. Hey, Every time you you're a kid. Shut up. I'm a kid that has your mom's box on my breath. Alright, I'll show you how to do basically everything. What I did just right there. Alright, um. <coughs> Alright, let's dissect everything. So this is fairly simple. So... It looks like a lot, it's not a lot. You can add your own shake effect. Like, if you want to be lazy, you can just delete all that, or at least I will, and then shake. There's, um, I don't think there's a, there's probably some type of built-in shake effect. You, you might just do it yourself, it's pretty easy. But this one, this one's really ult Ultimate Earthquake. I have no clue. Cinecom, go to cinecom.net. <laughs> they have a bunch of free ones. And literally just freaking drag this onto here if you don't if you don't want to do the work yourself and then you got just like that. You know what I mean? I like to make my own because cause I can cater it to my own, obviously. Like my own, which takes like a literally I just made a couple and I just copy and paste. And I just like the way that betters, you know what I mean? Alright, so for the motion, let's let's just reset everything. Boom. Boom. Uh boom. Alright. There he is. So basically what you want to do is let's say you want like what I did here to here. So what you want to do is you want to put it at where it starts and you're going to make a keyframe right there. Then you're going to, you're just going to do that a little bit. Then you're going to go, so basically down means up, up means down. That's pretty logical. And then once you see it, you're going to double click on it, drag it to where you want it. You'll know if you're doing it right if you see this little line right here and basically means there's a keyframe right there. This is the dragon form, obviously. And right here. Let's just put it right 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 here. And then you got And uh, let's say you want it faster, you can move this. If you want it slower, you can go. Let's just keep it kind of like where I was right there. A little more. And for the rumble effect, I'm gonna wait till he gets in place just so he's not rumbling out. So after he gets in place, I'm gonna make a keyframe with rotation. Then you're gonna go, at least I'm gonna go, one, oh, auto save, that's kind of cool and kind of bad. One, two, three. Then you're gonna go, one, one, two, three, negative one, two, three, but you know, one, two, three. Negative one, and then you can just copy. <laughs> That's what I like to do: copy, 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 and then you got right there. You know what I mean? And then from here to get this back dude off the screen, keyframe, move a little bit, double click, drag him back. <laughs> that it's so simple, it's incredible. It's so Let's get that a little more. It's so trash. See how easy that is? That took less than a minute. It'll probably take a little bit more because you're just starting, but that'll take me like literally 15 seconds to do this. <laughs> but, um. Probably not 15 seconds. Let's, let's boost it to 45 seconds. My ego is too massive. Alright, now let's do this guy. Hey, hey temptation, temptation, you're a kid, shut up. I'll do the audio effect as well. So, um. Uh, so basically, same thing with, uh. This. I literally started it back here then um i pushed it out to here made a keyframe and then i made a what the hell did i push it? okay yeah i pushed out to here i made a keyframe right here and then i wanted to stay here so i just didn't make anything in between so i just left it here but when it, but when i wanted to go up here i made another keyframe so that it wouldn't slow because because let's say this wasn't here it would have slowly gone on to here Kid, shut up. That's kind of kind of cool. But anyway, I didn't have it like that in the original. <laughs> kid, shut up. Right here. That's how I had it. So I made a keyframe, and then I made on, and then I made from here to here, made another keyframe, and then um, what did I do? yeah, I made another keyframe going going back. So it's I like it's cool animation. So he's going like you know, boom, 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 kind of cool. And then um, after he did that, I'll explain that in a second. I just literally made another keyframe and then dragged them down to right over here, the length that I want them. 
Uh, same, literally the exactly same thing I did with the um, uh, Fallout Boy. I did the same thing with me. You know what I mean? And then after that, for the rotation, I basically just um I rotated them like even more because I just did negative one, negative one, negative one. And then when it came to here, I made a keyframe so that it wouldn't cross over. And then I put it to what thirty five or something, thirty, so it'd go up. And then, and then in a like a second, I made it go down, so that's realistic. And then just boom. And then together, you just go crazy. Hey, you're a kid. Shut up. Now, temptation. I gotta explain about where he is. Um, start right here. Temptation. Frame right here. Shut up. But you, you see what I mean by the way he's floating. I kind of liked how he was floating, but um, uh, you see he was like kind of floating around. That's kind of I kind of liked how that looked. But let's say I didn't want him to float around. What I do is I just go right here, and I just. I, I literally just wouldn't make this. I have to. I do this. Shut up. And then I just make a. You see that? There's nothing there. And I'd make a keyframe. Then I'd go to whatever I wanted to do. And then I, I kind of like them floating around, but, um, you know. Temptation, you're a kid. Shut up. So with the rotation, it's pretty easy. Y'all you know, know what I did with the. How he went up. I just made a keyframe, then dragged him up. The rotation, um. Basically, same thing like that. And then right here. Is um I just literally keyframe did this upwards, put it right here, and then I just put it a little bit downwards so it did a motion so it's like a swing in motion like that, and then just left and then back down. Boom. All right, so I did. So y'all need to know how to do text, and motion graphics, sound effects, or self-explanatory. All you do is you get your whatever sound effect you have. Um. No. There it is. Put that up there, and uh, you get you import it, and then you have, and then you just drag it, however you want. Um, I recommend this tool, uh, right here, snap a timeline. If you don't do this, then it'll be, it'll go all over the place. You know what I mean? But if you put this, then you see how it's like, boom, it's very crisp, and then you know to the cut. Well, for if you want to do like zoom in ones for certain things, so you don't want it to like connect like that, then you can just press S, whatever you want, boom. Um, don't need to really worry about these. I don't really use them. Markers, if you want to use markers, you can use them. They're, who the hell use markers, let's be honest. Um, music, same thing. Um, alright, let's do some reverb. Hello? Hello? Alright, that's a good example. Um, so right here, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna, this is a built-in preset. You type here, you go reverb, studio reverb. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put that bitch boom right there. Bop! Skitty bop! Then you go pop. And then you're gonna go down here, you're gonna go boom, and then uh, you're gonna go back, and then you're gonna go whatever one you want. This is the best one, vocal reverb large. Let me choose whatever one you want, and then you know. Hello? Hello? Cool for awkward, dumb situations like that. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm being honest, I think that's basically the basics, and basically, all you need to know to like start using Premiere Pro, honestly. Um, so I'm just gonna end the video right there. Don't want to make it too long. I think y'all could figure out yourselves. It's better if you just do it yourself because everybody's different. Everybody doesn't learn the same way, you know what I mean? So just get used to it. Mess around with the text, your video, cutting a lot, <laughs> sound effects, whatever, graphics and stuff, and then, uh, <laughs> go crazy. Just just go Chris Brazy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to the next video. I'll see y'all in the next video. Subscribe? Fuck.